the Giant Oyster is a monthly D&D that can be done two times if you have a D&D token that says monthly. So get the monthly token, you will either have to win it from Treasure Hunter or if you have some daily tokens, you can right click. There is seven days in a week, so if you have seven, you can make one. And then it takes four weeklies to make a monthly. Now before getting here, if you do not have the Wicked Hood, it teleports a Birth Orb Lodestone. at the lodestone run directly east you will see Tam McGruber speak to him option one to get another hood I however have a hood already so he won't be able to give me a second before you go to the oyster make sure you have a luck ring a garden pie to boost your farming level and a fishing potion or an animal pie to boost your fishing level by plus three or plus five once you have the wicked hood teleport go to the bottom floor from the beam by right clicking Go north outside the wizard's tower. Wear the luck ring. You will need to have completed the quest beneath cursed tides. Right click wizard Mirdo and dive. Since it is the first of the month, I'm able to check the oyster and the rewards vary depending on your total level it can be easy medium and large I mean easy medium hard or it can be hard and elite casket rewards you will see a seaweed patch you can gather from it make sure to drink your potion your pie for more farming experience now you can either just let your guy collect it, or you can speed up by clicking on it. The choice is up to you, whichever you prefer. The farming level depends the farming experience depends on the farming level that you have. Boosting it gives you more experience. After some time you will get a delicious seaweed and that will be it. Next up go southeast to the fishing spot. Drink your potion or admiral pie and fish. Once again this scales in XP to the accordance of your level and also you can spam click it to get to gather faster since I am a hundred farming which is 99 since I boosted I was able to get almost 70,000 farming experience. Bonus experience does not affect this. The same with skilling outfits. Now for fishing, I was 99 and I boosted it with the fishing potion. Once 
once you have the sea cucumber, go back to the oyster that is just e east. Feed the oyster. Once you have fed both items to him, you will be able to check him in exactly the month from now, which will always be the first of game time reset. If you have the monthly DD token, you can click it, option 3, and then you're able to reset it, confirm it, and then you can check the oyster once again. And back again, you go for the seaweed and cucumber. The items that you get from the oyster will count for your treasure trails collection log. And once again, you can click on the farming patch or the fishing spot to gather from it quicker. Once you have gathered both items, you are able to place it in the oyster again, but you will have to wait until the first of the next month. Then you will be able to claim your loot and hopefully get a die or fortunate components to make a luck ring if you are an Iron Man or a main account. To leave this place, you can simply uh, teleport out with a lodestone, a cape of any sorts, and you will be free to do any anything that you would like until the next month. Now, to check if you can do it or not, either click F3 if you are on a desktop. It will open up the mini games tab, the adventures. It will automatically put you there on the left side where it says mini games DD list. Hit all and scroll until you see the oyster. In my case, since I just did it, it will be at the bottom and it says 29 days. Now, if you are on a laptop, do not click F3 because in some cases that will be your Wi Fi button. Instead, click on the little compass that's by your settings and this will put you again at the mini games tab click all in this tab scroll until you see the oyster if you can do it or not that will be the complete guide for the oyster mini game which is a monthly mini game unless you have a reset token then you can do it twice Thank you all for watching and enjoy.